back. Today we're playing The Creature of Kapu Cave, ND number 15. Um, I'm just really glad this is a short game. I don't care for it. If you like it, that's fine, but I, mm, not for me. Um, also, since my brother can't stay out of the room while I am recording, mm -hmm. he is now here. Hi. Okay. So, let's get this over with. Hi, I'm Nancy Drew. Since you can tell a lot about a person by where he or she lives. No. Anyway, here's my center of operation. It's Hawaii. Dr. Kulu can entomologist. I won't get paid. I'm gonna get paid. I'm gonna be in the jungle. Bugs. I'm not getting any... I'm gonna get paid. I do get a free plane ticket. I'll be working outdoors in one of the most beautiful places in the world. But what if we got paid? Then that would be excellent. Uh, da da. In the rainforest by myself. Yeah, that's more beautiful. But it's not like I'm going anywhere dangerous. Forest is really beautiful. I'll be in a tropical paradise. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, Nancy. Clearly yep. you've never been on TV tropes. Because the second you write that sentence, something will go wrong. Clearly you've never heard of fly. That's big spiders. Big spiders. Junior detective! <laughs> big spiders. Immersion mics. This is, this is how touch the sky. How is the sky? Imagine the sky. Just Hi. off the bus, huh? If you're looking for a real deal Hawaiian vacation, you got off at the right spot. Actually, I'm looking for somebody named Big Island Mike. That's me. Okay. You by yourself? Not really. My name's Nancy Drew. Well, just in case whoever told you about this place didn't give you the lowdown, here it is. You sign up with Big Island Mike, you'll live like a real Hawaiian. Work like, like they work, Hawaiian. play like they play. No tourist stuff. From me, you get authentic. Well, that sounds good, but... See, I'm like a tailor. Only I don't make clothes, I make vacations. Real, honest-to-goodness Hawaiian vacations. Custom-made to fit just you and you alone. You like the beach? I'll get you to the beach, but I'll also keep you busy. Busy doing things real Hawaiians have done for a thousand years. And you'll have a good time doing it, I'll make sure. In fact, I've got a couple of guys staying here about your age. They're from the mainland, too. I got those boys surfing, shelling, fishing, snorkeling, everything. You sign up, you'll do everything, too. Maybe even at the same time as them, huh? I'm feeling Pretty. distinctly uncomfortable right now. Maker. Sounds interesting, but I'm just here to pick up some car keys. Oh, you're the wahine who's going to be working up there in the rainforest with Dr. Kim studying bugs. You're going to have to pick them up and put them in jars and stuff. Rats. Let's make them annoyed. Well, I hope so. I think bugs are really interesting. Better to be working for Dr. Kim than up at the Healy Healy. That doctor there, he makes people mess with stuff way worse than bugs. What's the Healy Healy? The Healy Healy Research Center. Everything up there's a big mystery. People who work at Healy Healy, they never stay long. And when they leave, they don't talk. Oh, they cut out their tongues. Be that as it may, I'm supposed to get a key from you? 
Dr. Kim arranged for you to use one of my rigs. Got the key right here, but you know what? Okay. I'm not going to give it to you. Well, that's a joke, I suppose. I don't think Dr. Kim's going to like that. A big island, Mike. Immersion excursion beats chasing bugs around the jungle any day. And to prove it, I'm not going to give you the key until you go to the beach, collect some shells, and make a necklace for me. You can put the shells you find in here. Make me an aloha necklace. There's a picture of it over at the necklace making table. But I... I really think I should go meet Dr. Kim like I'm supposed to. You make the necklace, I give you the key. Only you know what? You're not gonna want it anymore. You're gonna walk on the beach, look for shells, sit and string them. You're gonna get so relaxed, you're gonna come back in here and say, You were right, Big Island Mike! Forget the bug doctor! Sign me up! You'll see! You know, apparently, each of these masks is supposed to represent someone in the game. Ooh, that's Big that's Island Mike. That's, that's, that's Nancy. No, that's Big Island Mike. I think that's a character we haven't met yet. Well, I mean, I think I know who it is. That, oh, yeah. 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 Um, I feel like that's Quigley Kim. So. What interesting. One of these four. Um, Big Island Mike told me to make an alone. Ah, here we go. So, what shells do I need? Hello? So, did you arrive okay? Ned, hi. <laughs> Perfect timing. I just got here. In fact, I'm on the beach. The bug doctor's on the beach? No, I have to collect shells and make a necklace before I can get the keys she's left for me. It's a long story. Well, I wish I could be there with you. Believe me, it's done nothing but rain non-stop since I dropped you off at the airport. The sky's just this constant shade of gray. It'd be depressing even with you here. But with you not here, it's... Oh my gosh, you're not going to believe this, but Frank and Joe Hardy are here. What? What? Are, are you sure? Positive. Hey, listen, I'll call you later, okay? But... Bye. Nancy? What are you doing here? I just got here. I'm going to be helping this entomologist Dad heard about do field work for the next two weeks. What are you guys doing here? We got here yesterday. Believe it or not, we're on assignment. Joe, keep it down. Richard Aikens, the CEO of Aikens Biotech? He hired us to do kind of a background check on Pua Mapu and her father, Mike Mapu. She's an up-and-coming world-class surfer. He runs a local business called Big Island Mike's Immersion Excursions. No kidding. I'm supposed to pick up a car at Big Island Mike's. What does this Aikens guy need a background check for? He's thinking about using Pua in the ad campaign for one of his products. He wants to make sure there aren't any skeletons in either of the Mapu's closets before he makes her an offer. Since she teaches surfing for her dad, we signed up for one of his immersion excursions so we could get to know her and make sure she's as squeaky clean as she seems. Aikens figured someone who was closer to her own age could find out a lot more than some private investigator. So you were basically hired to vacation in Hawaii and learn how to surf. Is that what you're saying? Well, you're Don't paid. worry. As soon as the opportunity wow, presents Nancy, itself, really we'll be doing some hardcore sticker. snooping, too. Yeah. Aikens wants us to make sure Mapu's business is also squeaky clean. But the guy never leaves his office, which so far has made rummaging through his paperwork impossible. So you're doing field work for an entomologist? Yep. Just me and Dr. Kim and a couple thousand of our closest insect-type friends out there in the jungle. Well, watch out for Kane Okala. Aw, oh, Joe. Watch out for who? Kane Okala. That's Hawaiian for rough-skinned man. He's this legendary guy who got half burned up in a volcano a millennium or two ago, and now whenever something really bad happens on the island, people start saying they've seen him in the jungle. He doesn't like people messing with his island, see? So he goes on these rampages. Apparently his temper is as nasty as his complexion. And there have been a lot of sightings lately, probably because of the pineapples. What's wrong with the pineapples? The pineapples have been growing so poorly on this part of the island that people say there may not even be a local crop this year. But nobody can say why. Although I'm willing to bet this Kane Okala guy could. Joe. If he really existed, which of course he does not. 
Happy, Frank? Well, I better get going. Good luck, you guys. I have my cell phone, so keep in touch. You too. In fact, if there's anything you need out there, food, toiletries, monster repellent, call us anytime, okay? Oh, okay. Oh, 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 oh. Bye. Bye. See you, Nance. They're beautiful. I'll just give this to Mr. Mapu and be on my way. You finished the necklace? Yep. If you could give the extra shells I collected to those two guys from the mainland, that'd be great. May I keep the necklace I made? Sorry. My idea? My necklace. But the rig key is yours. Thank you. Hey! One more thing. Kane Okala. That rough-skinned guy? What about him? It's the people at Hili Hili. They're doing something that Kane Okala doesn't like. That's why he's back. The people that say he's just a legend, don't believe them. I need that key, Mr. Mabu. Hope I don't regret this. The rig's out front. Got a GPS system and everything. The location of Dr. Kim's camp's already programmed in. I heard that something weird seems to be going on with the pineapple crop this year. What have you heard about it? It's the Healy Healy. Whatever they're doing up there, it's gonna end up ruining the pineapple fields. The newspapers know the truth. They're just too afraid of the Healy Healy lawyers to write the truth. Well, it was nice meeting you. Mahalo! Bye. And we're gonna do it now. Jet engines, we just fly around in our jet engines. Stuck in a ditch. Great. Well, hopefully Dr. Kim will be able to help me get it out. Uh-oh. Sounds like I missed a call. You have reached Nancy Drew, who is currently unavailable. At the tone, please leave a message. Hi, Nancy, it's Joe. Listen, Big Island Mike heard on the radio that the bridge on the road leading to that bug lady's camp just washed out. So I hope you get this message before you get to her place, because if you've already crossed the bridge, it sounds like you won't be able to get back into town for a couple of days. In any case, be careful, and again, if there's anything Frank or I can do, just holler. Take care. <sighs> so, on top of being stuck in a ditch, I'm stranded in the jungle. Well, at least I'm not alone. I mean, I won't be when I find Dr. Kim. Oh Nancy. my gosh, this place is a mess. What happened? And where's Dr. Kim? Nancy, you're one of those people who's like, well, it couldn't get any worse, or at least it's not raining, and then it starts raining. So maybe you should just stop saying things. Please. A tape recorder. There's a tape in it. Looks like it needs to be rewound. I'm 
Dr. Quigley Kim, and this is an oral record of my activities on the Big Island, beginning with today, March 11th. Hopefully, I'll remember to use this thing every day, but I much prefer writing things down. And frankly, I don't care much for hearing myself on tape. Makes me sound very nasal for some strange reason. Of course, this whole recording thing was my father's idea. I mean, just because he always kept an oral journal when he was in the field, he automatically assumed I'd want to, too. So he practically forced me to... There I go again. Well, at least with this thing. When I start digressing, I can just push this button and... Already, I'm forgetting to use this thing. Okay, now it's March 15th. My camp's all set up and my equipment's all ready to go. So tomorrow, I'm going to start rigging frost traps. I probably should have... March 19th. This has never happened to me before, ever. But when I was out checking traps in the jungle today, I got the weirdest feeling that I was being watched. I mean, it was broad daylight and I didn't see anybody or hear anything, but I just suddenly got this creepy feeling that I wasn't alone. Then, after about three minutes, it went away. I, you know, it was just weird. It's March 24th. For the past two days now, I've heard this very odd humming sound coming from way deep in the jungle. Okay, to be honest, it sounds more like whispering. Hmm. One minute it's there, next minute it's gone. And I have no idea what's causing it. I don't even have a theory as to what's causing it. It's March 28th. Great news. Actually, lots of great news. I just got done with my initial frost jar content analysis, and it looks like something really strange is going on with the Norse Beta Odorata larvae around here. Once I run these numbers through my formula machine, which I'm retrieving from my trunk even as I speak, once I run these numbers, I'll know for sure. And I'm getting an assistant. Somebody named Nancy Drew has agreed to fly out here for a couple of weeks and work for me. Which means I'm on the verge of fame, fortune, and free labor. Woohoo! Is life good or what? <laughs> The tape ran out. What was that? I sure hope Dr. Kim is okay. One with the or what on is life good right now. Yeah. Well, that Dr. Kim, are you here? Hello? Anybody here? Dr. Kim? She's gone. Ugh, I've got a bad feeling about this. The radio doesn't have any power. One, two, three, test. Nancy, welcome. Use this radio to call me at this frequency, 18.305 QK. Hmm. Interesting lock. Oh, we heard those sounds before. It was, um... Malachi Herbert Craven IQ of 22 maintains blog. I'm a genius. So we don't ever play well with others. Solar power. Healy Healy. Area code 312. Chicago, maybe? Okay, what else do we have in this trunk? 
A security pass for the Healy Healy Research Center. Maybe someone there knows where Dr. Kim is. I can't go anywhere until I get this thing out of the ditch. A solar panel. Looks like this is what powers the radio. Hmm, some of the photovoltaic cells are missing. Mm -hmm. A winch! What if we put the hook thingy in there? There, it's out of the ditch. Let's go. Well, I guess the only way we have to go on is the new business. State your business, please. Hi, listen, I found this pass and I wondered if. I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to put your hands up. Put my hands up? Who are you? Where did you get that pass? Uh, which question would you like me to answer first? Whoa. That pass was not issued to you. Now where did you get it? I think maybe I'd like to answer the other question. All right then, who are you? My name is Nancy Drew. I'm Dr. Kim's temporary research assistant. Today's my first day. Are you... I'm Malachi Craven, of course. I'm the head of this facility. Now explain yourself. I have that pass because when I arrived, Dr. Kim's base camp was all torn up and I couldn't find her anywhere. So I went searching through her stuff for something that might tell me where she is. I thought that since she had that pass, someone here could tell me where she is. Well, you thought wrong. And for your information, that pass was reported missing. She probably stole it weeks ago. You think Dr. Kim stole it? Oh, use your brain! This is a private research facility with highly restricted access. Of course she stole it. All right, that's enough. Excuse me? You're jumping all over me when the only thing I did to you was tell you the truth. I know who you are, Dr. Craven. I know you're an incredibly gifted scientist whose work has never been fully appreciated. In fact, as an amateur horticulturist, I would give anything to know what you're doing with the plants in here. But being a genius does not give you the right to be rude. Oh, I'm sorry, young lady. Everything you just said is quite correct. The genius part rings particularly true. How do you know about me? I read a lot. Like I said, I'm kind of a science freak. If you're interested in horticulture, why are you assisting an entomologist? Well, bugs and plants do kind of go hand in hand. And when I heard there was a free round-trip ticket to Hawaii involved... Smart girl! Yay! Okay. I'm in desperate need of some photovoltaic cells so I can repair a solar panel back at camp. And I know you're a big proponent of solar energy, so... Could you by any chance spare me, say, nine cells? Tell you what, I'll give you all the cells you need after you harvest at least a dozen seeds from those plants down there. They represent an extremely promising cultivar that I've hybridized. Unfortunately, I've developed some kind of allergy to them, so that just being in the same room with them has me scratching like a dog at a flea circus. My getting seeds from them is out of the question. But since you're here, you can do it! Just pick a few pods, pop them open, and put only viable seeds into the container. To know what I mean by viable, just read the notes that I left down there. Okay. No problem. Good. Bring me 12 viable seeds, and those cells are yours. Where are those seeds? I'm not quite done yet. The sooner you're through, the sooner I can incinerate those infernal plants. Now, I strongly advise you to get to work. <laughs> 